Hey, welcome back, guys. And if it's a little bit echoey today, that's because I'm looking after a friend's house. I'm doing some house sitting, and I'm in a bigger room, so there might be a little bit of an echo, so sorry about that. And they've got a cat, so you might hear it meowing in the background every now and then. So back to the code. In this video, we're going to be talking about the has many through relationship. So what does that mean? Well, at the moment, we have a user, and a user has many lists, and then a list has many items. But what if we want to take a shortcut and say, hey, give me all of the items that belong to this user. So for example, what if we just want to say user dot items? And then by doing that, we'll get all the items that belong to the user. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. We'll delete that, scroll to the top, do some setup. So what we're going to do is have it so that on the left side of the screen, we have all this good stuff that we had before with adding lists and adding items. And on the right side, we're just going to show all of the items for this example. And we'll create a div there, grab all of that, throw it in that div, and we'll give this a style that says float left. So we're just gonna float all of that to the left. And then we'll create a new div here and just write test. So this is going to hold all of our items. Oh, we need to float that to the right. Style is equal to float right. Okay, there we go. So that's what we want. Now we can add all of the lists over here and all of the items are going to show up over there. So here's one way that we could fetch all of the items. If we scroll down here, we could have a new computed property called items. And in order to get those items, we're going to iterate through all of the lists and add them to an items array. I'll show you what I mean. Items is equal to an empty array. And then we'll say this dot user dot list. So I'm diving into all of this user's list. And then for each of those lists, we're going to push every single item on that list onto the items array. So we can do that by saying items dot push and using the spread operator, then saying list dot items. There we go. So basically, we're building up an items array that has all the items from this user's lists. And now we should be able to just return the items array like that. Now let's click Save, and we need to actually use this items computed property. So we're going to scroll up here, and then right here we'll create an unordered list, and that's going to have some list items then we can say v-4 equals item in items. We're going to have to give it an ID. So we'll say key is equal to item.id. And then the body of this is going to equal item.body. Now we're going to need some dummy data. So let's scroll down here. And where we insert the user, we're going to insert some lists as well. So the first list will have a title of shopping. It's going to have an ID of 22. Just any ID will do. Let's make it 22. <laughs> nice rhyming there, Luke. All right, and some items in there. ID of something random. And then the body will just be equal to banana. Okay, so we have a shopping list with a banana. Let's create another list here. And this is going to be a to-do list. Give this a different ID. Give this a different ID. And then we'll change the item to a computer. Maybe we're going to buy a new laptop or something. Okay, refresh the page. And there we go, it works. So here's our lists. Here's the item in those lists. And then over here, we've got all of the items showing up over there. Let's add another thing on to-do. <laughs> I've put computer on the to-do list. That doesn't make much sense. Um, what about eat lettuce shows up over there, shopping, and we'll buy some lettuce so that we can eat it. Okay, cool. And everything updates beautifully. Now, the problem is, well, it's not really a problem so much, but this code is a little bit icky to me. It's a bit verbose and it's not very obvious what's going on. And that's why VUXORM has the has many through relationship. And that's what I'm going to explain to you right now. 
So we're going to clean this code up by using a has many through relationship on the user model. So let's jump into user and we're going to get the items. And to do that, we'll say this dot has many through. What does it have many of? Many items. So let's import that. What does it have those items through? Well, in order to get those items, it needs to go through list. Because remember, we've got a user, it's got lists, and then it's got items. So basically we're saying here, a user has many items through its lists. All right, so let's get rid of that. Now, the next thing we need to do is let Vuke's ORM know how to find those lists. And the way it finds those lists is by the user ID sitting on that list model. And then we need to tell it how that list finds the items. And it finds them by looking at the list ID on the item model, list ID. Okay, so I'm actually going to write this out again because when I first looked at this, I found it a little bit complicated. Okay, so this user has many through. What does it have many of? Items. How does it find those items? Through its list. Now, how are we going to find that list? Well, the list has the user ID sitting on it. And how is that list going to find the items? Well, on its model, it has the list ID. So watch this as many times as you need to for that to click for you and make sense. It took me a little while, uh, but it's a very useful relationship and worth figuring out. All right, so that should work. Let's go back to app.view. And over here, we can now get rid of all of this code and we can say return user.query. And we're going to find that user with an ID of 28. And we want with it all of the items. And that's going to give us the user. So we need to go one step further and say dot items. Let's save that, refresh the page, and it still works. To do eat food shows up over here. But that's a lot cleaner, isn't it? And by the way, it gets even better. We can make this code even more beautiful. We can just totally remove that and just add another with statement here, with items. And now if we scroll up, we can say v-4 item in user.items. And that actually reads a little bit better to me. It's easier to grok. So if I go back and look at this code, I can tell straight away, ah, those items are coming from the user within this component. So let's click save, refresh the page, and it still works. So that is the has many through relationship. Hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you, as I always do. And I'll see you in the next video.